This ingredient right here has genuinely changed how I think about so many cocktails. Today I'm going to show you exactly what it is, how to make it, which is really, really easy, and then we're going to compare it in a cocktail against five popular alternatives. So what is this, I hear you ask? Stick around and let's find out. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm Dan Fellows, and this channel is all about coffee and cocktails and things that help me and hopefully you make better drinks. And this is a perfect example of that. So what is this? It's called freeze distilled grapefruit juice, which I know sounds quite complex, but stick with me, it's actually really, really simple. You don't need any special equipment to make this, just a freezer and a little bit of patience. So it's really, really easy to do. I'm gonna show you how to do this today. Even though it's extremely simple, I've actually never seen this done before, but I think it's really, really powerful. And like I say, it's changed how I think about so many different drinks. Because the water in the juice melts quite slowly, you can actually melt off all that intensely flavored juice first and leave behind basically a watery ice block, which doesn't have much flavor. And then captured below is an amazing, intense flavor packed grapefruit concentrate which brings big grapefruit flavor to the drink without adding anywhere near as much dilution as you would with regular juice. You can add less of it to your drinks, leaving more room for other ingredients. So if you're making a fizzy drink, this means the final drink will have more of that sparkling texture retained. And if you're making a sweet and sour drink, it means you can use less, but still get that big punchy grapefruit flavor. So freeze distillation is a technique we're borrowing from the coffee industry. Historically, it's used as a way to concentrate and intensify milk. I actually recently made a video all about freeze distillation, which I'll put just above when it's applied to milk. But today we're applying this to grapefruit juice. And I think this is really, really interesting because you can get really big grapefruit flavors into a drink or whichever juice you choose without over diluting. So this is a really powerful ingredient. One thing you can do is apply this to lots of different fruit juices and it gives really, really good results. So we're gonna explore that more in the future. And if you wanna see those videos, you can subscribe to the channel, which helps you see those videos and also really helps to support the channel. So first of all, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can make this and get the best results from it. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna compare our grapefruit concentrate in a classic cocktail called a Paloma up against five popular alternatives. So first of all, let's make our freeze distilled grapefruit juice. So to make freeze distilled grapefruit juice, all you need is grapefruit juice. And I do recommend if you can using fresh grapefruit juice for this. If you think about how fresh orange juice compares to bottled orange juice, it's just a lot more alive, a lot more zingy, a lot more vibrant and the same applies to grapefruits. So to get the best results, I recommend using really good quality grapefruits. And to make this a kind of zero waste recipe, I recommend peeling them first and making grapefruit oleosaccharum from them. I'll show you the process in this video, which I'll put above so you can do that to make into a really delicious grapefruit forward syrup. But once you've peeled them, you wanna cut them in half, juice them into a big vessel and measure exactly how much grapefruit juice you start with. Once you've finished juicing your grapefruits, you just wanna pass it through a sieve into a bottle. So you take out some of the seeds and a little bit of the pulp put that in the freezer until it's completely frozen solid and you'll be left with something that looks like this, which is your hard frozen grapefruit juice. And when it comes to the bottle, make sure you leave a little bit of headroom at the top because the liquid will expand and fill up into the bottle. So this was only full to about here to begin with. So once you've got your frozen grapefruit juice, the process couldn't be simpler. Just turn it upside down and let it drip into the bottom vessel. If you can see that the liquid's melting but not getting through the ice, just give it a poke and it should run freely. So you would leave this in the fridge ideally until 25% of that grapefruit juice has melted into the bottom vessel. With the leftover 75%, you can also do things like scrape it out and make granita, which is really, really delicious, or you can use it in smoothies and it works really, really well. So this bottle contains 500 mils of grapefruit juice. In the bottom chamber, we wanna end up with around about 125 mils of our concentrated freeze distilled grapefruit juice. It's gonna give this bad boy a little taste just to check we're happy with the results. Cheers everyone. Pretty sharp, but it's really sweet as well. Because you're leaving behind the ice and the grapefruit juice, you're reducing the water content of it, and you're getting all that acidity, all that sweetness, and a little bit of positive bitterness that you get from grapefruit juice. And this almost tastes like a grapefruit syrup in itself, but because it's got the acidity and the bitterness, it's actually really well balanced. Just intense across the board. It's really nice though. Even if you wanted to stop here and just add soda water to this, it'd be really, really delicious. But what we're gonna do now, is compare this against five grapefruit sodas in a cocktail called a Paloma. So I'm gonna make those all up now. All right, so now we've got a really nice array of Palomas, all quite different colors. And if you're not familiar with a Paloma, essentially we're looking at tequila, lime, a little bit of salt, and grapefruit soda. So we've made these all to the same spec, just using different base grapefruit sodas. So what I'm gonna do now is taste each one with our control over here and evaluate things like the natural grapefruit flavor, the level of fizz, which you really want in there, and the balance. So we're gonna start with Fever Tree, 
we have Haritos, we have Ting, we have Double Dutch, we have London Essence, and then finally we have the freeze distilled grapefruit juice, half and half with soda water. So starting with our fever tree, it's a really delicious drink. Could do with a little bit more sweetness and a little bit more acidity in there. I think this is lacking in intensity slightly, but it's a really delicious drink. Let's go to Haritos, which is a very popular Mexican version of the drink. Way sweeter. I think this is way more balanced. This is damn refreshing. It's really, really tasty. Acidity, sweetness, and bitterness all balanced. Not a huge amount of grapefruit flavor, but more towards that kind of white, yellow grapefruit rather than the rich pink grapefruit. Now we have Ting. Even, well, too sweet, I think. It does bring the tequila up a little bit, but I think this is actually too sweet. And I prefer versions which allow a little bit of room to add sweetness. So you can add a little bit of agave if you want to. I think Ting's a little on the sweet side, but I think Harito's is my favorite so far. We have Double Dutch. Tastes a lot more like grapefruit, actually, in hindsight. This is really nice, really refreshing, but it's a little bit crisper and drier. Actually, no bad thing. I think on a really hot day, this would be lovely, but I think every day of the week, this would be really nice. And then finally, with our commercially availables, we have London Essence, which is another quite pink one. Actually, that's really nice. It's got a little bit of bitterness coming through, which is quite pleasant. But again, quite a natural grapefruit flavor. So there are kind of commercial options. I think my favorite is the Haritos. I really like that, it's really delicious and also quite authentic. And then we have our own version, which is half and half freeze distilled grapefruit juice and soda water. By far, this is the only one that really tastes like fresh grapefruit juice, which makes so much sense because that's what it is. It's the most intense flavored. It's probably the most balanced in terms of it tastes like a grapefruit and that it is acidic, but there's sweetness and bitterness underpinning it. And I think it's fizzy enough. I don't think any of them are super, super fizzy because you're adding the tequila and also the lime juice, but this is a nice level of fizz. And it's just natural. It tastes like grapefruit, which is what a Paloma should do with tequila and lime underpinning it. So for me, this right here is a complete game changer. Applying it to grapefruit juice and other juices, I think is gonna change the game when I think about how I make cocktails. And I'm gonna be making lots more videos about this in the future, taking inspiration from our freeze distilled juice. So when they're ready, I'll put them in a playlist just down here. So there's lots of inspiration on how you can use this ingredient and other different juices. And if you wanna learn how to make a Paloma, as well as a couple of really delicious variations, a classic, a coffee, and a contemporary version, I'll put that video just here. So give this a try, let me know what you make with it, and hopefully you enjoyed this. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for more things like this, which I'll put here. And thank you very much for watching. Cheers everyone.